Good morning. I'm here today to talk to you about a yarn that is becoming one of my favorites, and that's mohair. Mohair has been around for a long time, and it actually comes from the underbelly of an Angora goat. Um, it's not Angora, it's actually called mohair. And a lot of mohair now is made with silk. So you hear, often hear it described as silk mohair or lace silk mohair. Um, we have several here in the shop, and I wanted to show you, and we're getting some more in shortly. I wanted to show you a few examples. One of the ones that I've loved is, um, this is a sweater called uh, um, Calliope. I always get it confused with Capella, but it's Calliope, and it uh, was a wonderful top-down um, increase in the yoke, um, and I held mohair with it. A lot of people call it dragging mohair with a, this is held with a DK weight yarn. And so this made it go from a DK gauge up to a chunky or Aran weight. So it went up to about three and a half stitches to the inch. Uh, the yarn I used uh, didn't need any softening. It's a very soft um, yarn, but it, the addition of mohair does make a scratchier yarn much, much softer. I can wear this right on my skin. There's no itch, nothing. What it did do, however, the color of the mohair was a deep, deep pink, and the color of the yarn that I um, held it with was a dark purple. And what it did was it gave it this beautiful marled look, which I love. Another example of carrying mohair with a yarn this is a DK weight with a mohair. This is um, Lang Lux mohair. And I used this yarn, Angelina, and I dragged this other yarn, which has just escaped me right here. I dragged this with it, not this color, obviously, but it was a blue yarn and I put a blue with it, so it kind of stayed the same. Um, this is called Turtle Dove by Espas Tricot. I think they have a couple versions of it, but it's a really fun top-down knit with a um, dolman sleeve, kind of a lowered sleeve. The third one I want to show you is one called Marmor by Regina Messner. And this, I'm going to throw this on because I think it's so fun to wear. And this, again, was the Angelina. And I, again, held... The, these two together, this is the Lang Lux Mohair with Angelina. And this again gave me a much heavier gauge. This is fun, it has a nice detail down the, like an I-cord detail down the back and I-cord edging. Um, and I wear this and I'm so comfortable in it. Another way, oh, I have one more where we put mohair with, this is mohair with a fingering weight, so we used the Isayer silk mohair with a fingering, and we used um, Barocco ultra, fine, ultra Wool Fine with it. And this is called Lenny, very popular hat. Catherine has done a few um, workshops with this and probably will do another one. Lots to learn. Another great way to use mohair is to double it and to kind of marl it so you change colors as you go. Um, this one is made with five or six colors of Isayer silk mohair and it is called it's called Color Play Mohair Scarf and Wrap. This, these are all on Ravelry and you start with two colors and then you change the colors as you go. So this one has the rust and kind of a cocoa color. And then we drop the cocoa and put in this kind of green and so on and so on. And this is light as a feather, wonderful to wear. Another mohair that we have, and it would appear I dropped it on the floor, um, is a mohair with sequins added to it. And this is a lovely one, it's Lux Mohair, again, and here's the skein, and it's got just a little addition of sequins, dresses it up a little bit, and this is called Lace Capelet. 
This is a wonderful piece to wear in the summer. Again, super soft. And here's a final one, which is another um, one where we held two together and then added green. We dropped the, this is two skeins of the turquoise color. We um, then added, dropped one of the strands of the turquoise and added green with the turquoise. And then this is green doubled, dropped one of the green, added white, and then this is white together. And this piece is called um, ombre cowl hood. So you could wear this around your neck or you could actually hold it over your head. Uh, new yarn coming into the shop is from Barocco. This is a super kid mohair and silk and it's called Ariel Color. And it's quite lovely because it um, has a watercolor effect. And it's very beautiful, um, held with another yarn or with another mohair. You could hold it with something like this or something like this, and it would be very beautiful and fun. So those are some examples of mohair. Uh, if you've got a scratchy wool at home, don't know what to do with it, you'd like to make a hat or something, grab a skein of mohair. And though it may seem a little more expensive to put a mohair with a another yarn, if you think about it, you're moving up to a bigger gauge where you're gonna need more yarn and ultimately you spend about the same amount of money. Um, so try it, come in, look at our samples and check us out on Facebook and YouTube. See you soon, bye-bye.